Hello and welcome to Polynomials. Um, if you're clicking on this video, the likelihood is that you've come across an equation that looks something like, I don't know, um, 6x plus 9. Okay. And, well, that's the basic one. There'll be minuses later and everything. But, so, how do you go about finding x? Well, we could do it by trial and error. We could try the function of 2. So let's put 2 in, which is what f of 2 means, putting 2 into this equation in simple terms. So then we get 4 plus 12 plus 9, which clearly, clearly does not equal 0. So what's the quick way to do this? Well, there is a very quick way to do this. And assuming that there's no number in front of the x, there is a way to do it if there's a number in front of this x squared. But I'll go on to that on a later video. Um, so what we want is something, preferably two brackets, as that's the simplest way to do it, that equal 0. And are exactly the same as this statement. Or equation. So, we, if we're going to have two brackets, which is the alternate, which is the same as adding two numbers together, it's like saying 2 times 3, which equals 6. All these brackets represent is numbers, or are numbers. I don't know about my grammar there. Um, so, we need to form x squared somehow and the only way to make x squared is to put an x, is to make an x times an x well that's the only simple way to do it um, pause for a moment and try and understand that if you don't but I'm moving on so once you understand that, that the only way to get then you've already fulfilled four of the, four of the possible positions here there's going to be a number here, a number here a number here and a number here. So you've only got two to go. So what you need, you've you've wiped out x squared as you've already you've already got the um, how to do that. So next you need to figure out make six x and at nine. So how can you do that? So what you need to do is you need to find two numbers that times together or multiply together to get 9 and two numbers that add together to make 6. So what number times what number equals 9 and what plus what number equals 6? Well, what I'm thinking is 3 but I'm only thinking that because well I made it but 3 so 3 times 3 is 9 3 plus 3 is 6. So then we have, let's put plus 3 in, as it's not a minus 3 and it's got to be either plus or minus. Now how do we check this? Because we want to make sure that this is right, just before we figure out what x is. Okay, so if we multiply these brackets out, then we'll get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Well let's check that, will we? So what's what's x times x? Well, x squared. That's the very simplest bit. So we've done that. We've done one out of four parts. Now we do x times the next part of the second bracket, which is 3x. So now we've done the first bit times all the second bracket, first bit of the first bracket times all the second bracket. We're going to do the second bit of the first bracket times the second bracket. So 3 times 3 is plus 3. So we plus 3 here. So now we've done this, we only have one bit remaining and that's the last bit of the first one times the last bit of the second one. So 3 times 3 is 9. Is this the same? Yes. x squared plus 6x plus 9. So we've got the right answer. So we know that we've done it correctly, or correct. 
So what do you do now? Because we want to find x. I'm just rubbing this out for space. So, <clears throat> how do we find x now, if we know that this is the same as this, the equation that we've been given? Well, we know that if a number times by another number makes zero, then one of these numbers has got to be zero, because there is no possible way whatsoever that any, that both of these could be numbers above or below zero. They have to, one of them has to be zero. So say for example if that made 6, then this has to make 0. If that made, if this number was 2, that would have to be 0. They can't both be numbers above or below 0. They, one of them always has to be 0. So first, we'll assume that the first bracket is 0. So in order to make this 0, this bracket 0, what is x got to be? Well, it's got to be minus 3, because minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So this bracket is 0, so, th so this equation is correct. So one of the equations is 0. Next, we'll assume that this bracket is going to be 0. So what makes this bracket 0? Well, minus 3 again. So 0 times whatever this number will become equals 0. OK then, and that's your solution. Minus 3 and minus 3 are your two solutions. This is what's referred to as a, well, it's a squared, it's a squared law. You could do, you could, this is very much the same as x plus 3 squared equals 0. Because it's merely the bracket times by itself.